Hi guys, so today I have some of Spellbinder's new August collection to share with you. This is the Boo Dance Party collection, I believe it's called. So they did send these items free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase. I'm so those links. So thanks for using them, they're just right under the title here. Um, just expand that area. Uh, so I have what is the uh, Dancing Ghost. As you can see, he has his little ghost body. This is the cutest, I mean... He has his little legs. I love it. Has um, boo, and then you know you can be like different ways, or hey, or the the H and the E Y, or however you want to play with those letterings. As you can see, this actually is a little handle uh, that goes to your little pails. You guys, I love these every year. This is like my favorite design as far as uh, trick or treating. So my kids, they have them. They use year after year the same ones because they're just adorable and they're plastic, so they <laughs> last forever, right? Um, Super cute, so you can make your little pail, you know, with the handle, or you have your little bag, which is also adorable. My goodness, look at that, <laughs> so cute. Um, again, you put the handle on that one, and then little treats. So, you know, you can fill up your little basket here. As you can see, it does have an opening or a slit, so you can pop those in there. And then his little legs move around, right? So, we're very familiar with this as far as spellbinders with a lot of their different dance and you know, whoever gnomes or Santa or reindeer and all that. It's you know, you just put a circle foam piece right here and it just moves around so you have that guy um, and now this one is their little dancing mummy and so he has this little body here and um, all you're gonna do is you know you have this piece that's like the little head wrap so it goes there and this part goes on his chin so that's what it looks like that this is for his little body so most of this kind of starts up here in his shoulders ends up in the tummy area I believe these parts are for his legs as you can see they kind of fit in there like that just extra bits that you can kind of play with like the ends of the wrap or however it goes um, just little bits that you can add here and there like his little arms again just extra bits for that and then his little legs again that move around behind his body super cute and then this guy is the little haunted uh, mansion or haunted house of course so you have like this kind of silhouette die here you have this little piece that I was looking at I'm like oh what is this it's um you can use it as shutters or other things, just add them here and there. Excuse look, me, look. you can make them look like loose boards or something, but you can also do a little walkway with them, right? And then we have like your full moon, some little kind of scary clouds here. We have the little ghosties and the little bats. I mean, how adorable are these little guys? So cute. And then these are the uh, stamps of Louis, yeah, that go along with them, like punny stamps, you know, Happy Halloween, of course. We have Hey Little Boo, I Would Never Ghost You. <laughs> That's so funny. I was moving on, but I thought, you know, you might not know what ghosting is. It's just like when you contact somebody and then they just don't contact you back ever again <laughs> for, you know, just generally an online thing, right? But, um, so it's called ghosting you, because all of a sudden it's like, ooh, who are they, right? Okay, have a spectacular, spooktacular Halloween. Can't touch this, too cute to spook, all wrapped up in you, my mummy is my boo, oh my gosh, let's get spooky, you know, ghouls just want to have fun, all kinds of cute things. Howl at the moon, and look at that, you can, oh my gosh, you guys. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is grab some papers. I think we'll do both designs today, because a quick and easy cute little project and um we'll put some things together i'll okay, be right back so i have some fun things here lots of paper um, definitely need white paper so it's just some heavyweight white paper that i have in my stash um, i grabbed some four by six card blanks that i have because why not the other day when i had reviewed um the gnome for christmas collection i had tried out some of the new 3b embossing folders look how pretty this paper is so it ends up being four by six or a little bit bigger than that so what i'm going to do is just cut it down and that'll be a background probably for the mummy now if you want his little legs to swing I would say you don't want things getting in the way of that I'm um, just trying to see if I can do this in a way that's gonna look kind of even maybe here and um, so I'm just gonna not make his legs active for this one you know but let me see I'm just looking at the side where they kind of end and seeing if I can make it look really nice and even at three and seven eighths of an inch or so. And then I'll cut it in the other direction. So three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. So it's Matt's in a four by six card. Sorry, and then we'll speak. I was going to say I might make a background with this white paper. But what I'm going to do is actually just use some paper that I already have that I think is adorable for the ghost. And you know what? Oh, look at this one already has. Well, we'll just use this side. Because I want to use the little haunted house, so I don't really need a paper that has a house on it. <laughs> so this one, again, I'll cut to um, 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 7 eighths, and I'll be right back. And then I'm going to grab just a ton of papers um, for the little mummy guy. That's why I wanted purple, like, just to pop in the background. I don't really need... Um, 
a whole lot of anything else. He's just going to be pretty much white <laughs> wrappings or if you want to do them like brown like so it looks like a little bit older or whatever it is you want to do. We'll probably ink it up a little bit with maybe some black ink or some gray ink or something like that. Um, but I'm just going to line these and I'll do the same thing with this one and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I move some of this stuff to the side. So we have our two card bases and this paper definitely has a direction. And I did in this one is I just put three strips I and mean, you can put your paper down however you like. But um, the reason I left the little stringies kind of hanging out is that we can see where we're putting it and have a pretty good idea and then just pull the backer off your string instead of having all this sticky stuff that might stick down before you really want it to, especially with liner tapes or double-sided tapes. Uh, let's see here. And same thing with this one. I'm just eyeballing if I'm about center. And there's something fun about doing it that way too, just pulling the strips out from the back. Okay. So, let me put this aside. I brought out a bunch of different colors of paper for the um, characters. So for this guy, I'm going to cut out his base out of black paper just have that peeking through the white of course bandages and I'm gonna cut pretty much all of these and if you want to do them a little bit at a time so you kinda of keep them and not mix them up you can do that too um, these are just like little extra bits maybe I'll cut this one maybe I won't but for now let's not do that one and then of course our little um, ghost just gonna come out of white paper and I think I'm going to do his legs in black paper, and we might line them with white paper. We'll see, because you want a little bit of weight in the legs so that they want to move around. And then, um, sorry, so for the lettering, I don't know if I'm going to use lettering or not, but either way I'm going to use this one because I want the little uh, strap. So we'll cut that for there too. I'm definitely going to use the little pumpkin. And I just grabbed a bunch of different colors of things. So let me see. Do you have... We can go with this orange for the little pumpkin. And then um, candies. So we have all these little candies. It cuts two at a time. I'm just going to run through random colors and we'll have some of those also to play with. Okay. And that's just for the little characters right now. As far as the haunted house, I'll definitely cut this out of black paper. So I'm just going to run this through some black paper. For the background, we can do a little yellow paper or orange paper. Probably yellow just because I remember using orange for the pumpkin. Actually, I brought a different color orange. Where did I put it? I'm not sure. But you know what? This one. Let's do the pumpkin, this brighter orange, and let's do the moon, this lighter one, just for fun. And maybe I'll cut out a few of the little clouds, maybe out of some gray paper, just to make them look a little more spooky. And everything else we'll just do later, but I'll be right back. Sure this, you know me. Look how cute. <laughs> Adorable. And you can line them in the back with some black paper, which I might do, just so we come back, it's ready to go. Or yellow, right, if you want to look like it's glowing or whatever it is. Um, and I would just take like a little scrap piece of paper and just glue it to the back here. Just like that. Like cut it down just a little bit and glue it on. Okay guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do the little mummy first because he has pieces, you know. So I'm going to put these to the side. Get this and this. And any of these things you can pop up, you can leave flat, I mean whatever it is that you like. I'm just going to put a little glue right here because I know we have something that goes there and I'm going to put some glue here. And this is the little head one, right? So we're going to start off with that guy, or at least I am. And, oh my goodness. Now his little cheeks are there. So what I'm probably going to do is pop in some paper behind that, just so that it shows up. Oh, it's a little scrap from another, from earlier. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Oh, I'm trying to pick him up so you guys can see. Those there, and you know, I mean, you want to bring it down closer, do you want it to be more like this, whatever, however you want to position that. Definitely, we're going to pop some pop paper in behind there to show his little eyes and uh, cheeks, so we'll do that in just a minute. And then this piece has like his little torso, it goes pretty much across his shoulders, and then down, and then these other larger pieces go like on his legs. So again, if you want to pop any of these pieces up, or however you want, pretty much goes there. So I'm going to put glue on this piece this time because it does end a little bit differently. Uh, look at that. And again, there's tons of little accent pieces we can put on later. These go on his legs. You know, somewhere in here like this kind of thing. Which is good because it adds that weight again for the little legs to want to swing if you're going to make him into the little swinging kind of card. So let's just put those on there. 
And I'm going to ink this up afterwards because I figure that's easier than inking the smaller pieces. So that's just how I'm doing it. There's that guy. Oh. Uh, those are the little extra pieces. We have little pieces like for his arms if you want. So I'm going to add some pieces here. Uh, let's see. This guy. You can just come in and add pieces however you think. Might be cute. I'm making them look like cuffs, but that's okay. <laughs> there you go. And again, just tons of extra little bits that you know you can add here and there. Um, I think for him, he's done for right now. I'm going to let him set up just for a minute. And basically when we put him on our card, it's going to be like this. But what I'm going to do is grab... Uh, let me see. I have like this little green... Oh, little blue eyes would be cute too. I'm just going to... I was going to tear it by hand, but you know what? Let's be professionals and cut them from paper. I think that's long enough to go behind his face. Such a weird day here, you guys. It's like hot. It's muggy. It's not. The breeze comes through and it feels good. And it's like, what is going on? <laughs> it's just so weird. Anyway, okay. So I'm just covering his eyes. I mean, that is really close to the little part of his cheeks. Look it. Oh my gosh. So on the cheeks, I'm going to do the same thing. Just cut small piece of paper. I'm going to find some kind of bright pink, I think is what I want. I'm just gonna stick them here and here, okay? Before and I'll be right back. Completely assemble him, and then before I add the little extra bits, I'm gonna take some black ink and just or gray or whatever as you like. Maybe gray is probably better, but I'm just gonna take this and just kind of go around and make his little bandages look a little distressed. Now I'm doing it now because I thought it's easier, but if you wanted to get like really into these areas, then you probably would do some of that before. But I'm just being careful and using the side of this guy. Just had a little little muss here and there. I'll do the same thing with his little eggs and it's hard to see right now, but look at that. And there it is. And then these little ends of bandages I think are so cute. Like what cute little additions are these? So these guys I'll do a little decorating, a little distressing, should I say, before I put them on. I'll put that away later. Um, and we can just kind of... Oh my goodness. <laughs> like a little piece and you can I mean put another one there in the same spot or wherever else or wherever else you think would be cute oh my goodness you know what, let's put one on his little leg why not and again you can cut more than just the two I just did that one die cuts two at a time and you can have lots of cute little bandages and on this one I was gonna keep it very simple just with our little character I can just glue him completely together and pop him up if we want because I'm not going to have his legs dangling. But if you put the little dimensional right here, all you do is stick his body to it and his legs will move with the dimensional. Um, that's just how that works. But again, I was going to keep him like one little person, so I'm going to just glue it down. And again, if you want to put this like on a tag or something cute like that, you can definitely do that. I'm going to put some uh, dimensionals on the back and I'll wear it. For this little guy, we'll just come back in a little bit and add a little sentiment. Oh my goodness. So I'm putting him like front and center on that cool background. He's such a cutie. Oh my gosh. And we can add some other little bits later to finish decorating that guy. And um, I do want to show you this little guy on the same die. He has um, this little piece you might <laughs> think. I don't know why it reminded me of like a Charlie Brown thing. I'm like, didn't they put a nose on the Charlie Brown like um, ghost? I don't know. I feel like I remember that, but it's basically another hand or arm however so let's say you have it there and all you can pop your little um, goodie bag in here you can also have it hanging off of here you know so it's up to you if you want to use that or not of course so we have this little guy I left everything kind of embedded in this so I'm gonna do a couple things let's see here this guy let me get his legs out right now his legs are just like these little black spaces you know, with the spaces, should I say. Uh, what I'm going to do is just line them with some white paper and I'm simply going to cut little pieces of paper that will just kind of fit in there. So like if this one was about this long, I would cut it there. Oh, don't cut his leg. And then maybe about that thin. And then whatever hangs over, I'll trim away. And I'll do the same thing for the other leg. And then also, let's put that there, see? looks pretty good. I'll do that for the other one. 
And then his eyes, you know, I would just leave him like that if I was using black paper, but since I have that pattern paper back there, I want his eyeballs to have something different. Again, you can do yellow, black, whatever, you know, traditional thing you like. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and line them in black, which is, you know, super basic there. But again, the same thing. I'll just put a little black piece of paper. I just eyeball it. Sometimes I'll glue it down, then I eyeball it afterwards. But like for right now, it could be like this. And about... Oopsie, I'm trying to get behind the paper. Like that long. And I'll just put glue and glue that behind his little eyeballs. So, I'm going to take the little handle. <laughs> so cute. And just pop it on here. And you can put it in the back, you know, in here. Where is it you think you want to place that? I'm just going to place it in here. And then we're going to fill that in with candies anyhow, so it doesn't really show. Anyway, so if you want to put it in the back... It's up to you. Oh my goodness. This is the cutest thing to have a die of. I mean, he's just so cute. Okay, so let me kind of plan what we're doing here. So he's here, and he's facing that way, and he has, you know, his little legs can move. Of course, we want to leave that some space for that. We have tons of moons in the sky. And this guy's over here, and then holding his little treat. So I'm just going to place this in here. Well, should I do that way? No, do it this way. Hmm. That's really cute. Okay, fine. Uh, I'm going to put a little glue down here. Leaving that opening for the pumpkin so we can uh, insert the candies. And I'm basically just gluing down this area. You can glue down his little handle if you want, but I'll have it over here. If you're going to use the other little hand, you can put the little handle, you know, out here. <laughs> so cute. I'm like, should I put this other little hand anyway? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know what, let's put it there and just have it there as an accent. So I'll put his other little hand. Kind of like right here. He's just walking along. <laughs> that is so cute. Um, okay. Oh, the breeze feels so good. Alright. So we have him there and this here. Yeah, and then the little candies. Something like that. So we can go ahead and glue these things down if we want. Just a cute little scene here. And I guess that crow in the background you hear in my videos is spooky. <laughs> yeah, I meant that for, for him to be uh, out there cawing or whatever they do. What do they do? I don't know. I hear him pretty good. Okay, let's pretend it's right there. And then maybe we have like some words here or whatever it is that we want. I'll bring this down just a little bit. All right, so for that guy, we need like a little circle. I have tons of circular um, dimensionals. I'm assuming that's you put, need probably like a quarter inch because you can see this is like, like quarter inch dimensional and it gives it a little bit of room. So that's a good size circle. And let me eyeball this again. He's going to be right, right there. And if you want the feet to stay exactly where you put them, you definitely want to put your little sticker up towards the top of the feet. Because if you put it like down here, the feet are going to fall and then it falls into place, right? So, And then this guy needs the same dimensionals, basically. The same height of dimensional. And... You are not going to put very many. Don't put any around here, basically, because it's going to impede his little legs. So I just put them at the top, and then this one's going to hold it, like, in here somewhere. So let's give that a go. And just make sure his little outfit's, like, popped up. I'm not in the way of your little legs. A lot of times I have to train them first, then they'll start moving. <laughs> I, they always crack me up. They're just so cute. I mean, and those are just the tips I'm giving you. You want his legs to be a little weightier, so make sure to add, you know, some extra paper in the back or, you know, whatever you want to do if you want a paper piece, like little shoes on there, whatever it is, but just make it a little bit heavier than just like a, the lightest weight paper. That way it wants to move, right? If they are just very lightweight paper, it'll just kind of sit there and not want to move for you. Um, okay, so let's cut the treats. I'm just going to cut a ton of them. I haven't done that part yet. Sorry, guys. Um, and then I skipped on the clouds, apparently. So <laughs> whatever else from that uh, set, 
We have again little clouds. I feel like there's a lot already going on in the background, but if you want, you have your little clouds. We have the little ghosts. You know what? I'll do ghosts because there's already um, bats in my um, pattern paper. So I'm going to cut some little ghosts and maybe some bats for this guy. That'll be cute. So we'll take some of those bats to add to his card. And then I'm going to cut out a ton of uh, candies and I'll be right back. I'll do a few things just really quick. And then, of course, I need a few more candies. But for this guy, I'm just going to go ahead and put his little accent bats down. <laughs> so sweet. So simple, it's just a black and white paper too on that one. Okay, and then the other little guy. And... Ooh, he's so spooky. Alright, and then look at these little candies. They're so cute. And... These little guys will just pop in here and there extra. On the little house, you know, I'll just glue those down wherever I think it'll be fun. And I'll keep cutting out a couple candies and I'll be right back. You know, it'd be really cute too is to um, put like little glitter or something in the center of these or a little glaze so look shiny. Super cute. Okay. I'm thinking he needs to hold a candy, right? <laughs> I was like, maybe we should give our little buddy a little candy. Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to put a little candy his little hand oh my gosh you know what he probably needs some just all, all around <laughs> i might have to cut more of these i wasn't planning on putting candy with him but i think that's really cute so i'm just putting again this paper is textured quite a bit so i'm just putting glue as much as i think will help hold here and something like that so he has little candies all around a little pile of candy there okay and then this little guy, I might cut more, but maybe these three will do it. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I said I would glue these down, didn't I? I just moved on, started doing other things. Very cute. Okay, and let's see here. <laughs> Those little legs. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm probably going to leave him a little bit dimensional like, I'd, like it is right now. It's kind of pulled up there. Pop another little glue in here. You can put a little candy in his hand too, since his hand is available there. That little other hand that we placed. That one's just... Should sure you tuck that one in? I was going to leave it sticking out, but you know, it looks kind of... Funky, I guess I'll tuck it in too. <laughs> oh my gosh. So cute. Alright, there we are. I'm probably going to adjust these just a little bit more. Just kind of play with them a little bit. Um, let me uh, get our sentiments and I'll be right back. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm like, why don't I take advantage of that circle up there? So I'm going to do Howl at the Moon which I understand he is a little ghost, but I think this is a very cute sentiment <laughs> just for fun. And we're going to place it there now. If I had thought about that earlier, I would have stamped it first, right? Um, just to make it easier so you don't, you know, do something that you're going to regret. But I could always just cover that up if I don't get it quite right. So I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to turn that that way. And I'm going to make sure that I'm pressing in each area, especially because I'm using textured paper. You know me, I love a degree of difficulty. There we go. <laughs> so cute. And again, the stamp set is uh, photopolymer. I think I'm going to leave that like that because I need his little legs to swing. If I add something else over here, I might get stuck to it and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's really, really sweet. There's already a lot going on here anyhow. And then with this little guy, let's do... Um, he has one that's really cute all wrapped up in you. And you can put that like above his head because it's kind of rounded. Really sweet. Um, I mean, there's, you know, too cute to spook and a candy a day and all these different fun, cute things. And I've of course, you don't have to put a sentiment out here, but I think, oh my goodness, there's so many cute ones. My mummy is my boo. Um, we'll just want. Oh, I think I want to do just hey little boo. I'll put it over here. So what I'm gonna do with that one is just stamp that on. Let me see. We can stamp it on here if we want. Uh, the only thing with that is that paper's crooked. So let me start with this one. Because whenever I start with a piece of paper that 
I already know is straight. Oh, and you know what? We even have the lettering Hey Boo from the other part. This lettering. If you want to use that, you can definitely put it on there. However you like. Oopsie, I just put some ink on my hand. So I know this is nice and straight up here, so that's where I'm going to start. And I'm trying to think. Don't want to leave myself. Let me leave myself a little bit of room in case I want to dovetail or use a die. I was just going to cut it, to be honest, but hey, little boo. Let me go wash my hands. I'll be right back. I just had a stroke of genius. Okay, maybe not really, but um, let's go ahead and cut this. And I'm just eyeballing that. Definitely just eyeballing it. Because he has all those little wrapping papers, so what if we make ours look like a little wrapping? Now, we could definitely do a partial die cutting. Like, if you had this, and you took the little die, and you're really good, and you can put this on the end, and know that that part is going to cut, and just place it, and then place it so that your cutting die, your folder, or whatever that you're using, is just on this very edge, and you run it through, and it'll only do a partial die cutting there for you. But uh, I'm just going to, like, imitate what's going on here. So it just has kind of, like little things like this to make it look jagged so I'm just gonna do that I think it'll be cute and then we'll distress this a little bit too and I'll do the same thing on this other end I think that's I'll really cute oh my gosh okay fun idea all right oh I took the there we go whatever ink is left on here I'll just use that I'm sure there's some on there you know unless you clean them off this stuff definitely will keep inks <laughs> What a sweet idea! Oh my gosh, you guys. And then I was going to put it here. I mean, you can put it wherever you like. Oh, that's a tough one. I guess I'll put it down here because that's my first idea for that. And, you know, we can stick it down with this. And that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that gave you some ideas of how to use the little legs. Um, this is, you know, with any of the... Uh, Dance and die is that uh, Spellbinders puts out. You can use the same kind of technique. Just make their legs a little bit heavy so that they swing nicely and give them room to swing and make sure not to put any dimensionals like down here. I mean, you can put them down here. They don't swing, but they do swing as high as there aren't dimensionals, right? So I always like to give them a lot of swing ability. And this one, he's just a little cute guy. No swinging. Just put together. You can do the same thing with this guy. Just stick his legs on. You don't have to do the swinging, but it is very cute. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll have the links in the description box. And I think I mentioned at the top um, that Spellbinders right now has 20 off of a $100 cart on the US site or 15 pounds off of 100 in the UK. And that ends, I believe, the 21st or 22nd. I don't remember, but I'll have that info in the description box. Again, that's Right under the video title, a lot of people ask pretty much every day where that is. And anytime you go on YouTube and you need some info or someone has a recipe or a link to their blog or affiliate links, whatever it is that they're recommending you use, um, they are that's where it is. Guys, it's never in the comments because that's uh, a different thing. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Super cute. And oh, just adorable. All right, guys. <laughs> thanks. Bye now.